Many people want to have Havanese dogs breed at home because they believe that these dog types are suitable to their personalities and preferences. They also believe that they can go along with their friends because of its being sociable. Havanese dogs may come in a variety of colors and this makes them unique to any other dog breed. Indeed, its colors is one of the interesting differences which make them stand out from other breeds. Today in this video we will discuss about different markings and types of Havanese dogs. Number 1. White Markings Havanese There is an enormous variety of white markings but they are not nearly as random as imagined. White follows a very definite order progressions from a little low to a lot. These are predominantly colored coats containing small patches on white trim often found on their chest, chin and a feet. Number 2. 10 Points Havanese this is a detailed layout of light and dark coats. It's also a largely dark coat that is overlaid with lighter color patterns of points. The most prominent coats colors on its backgrounds are black, blue, sable, chocolate or silver. These colors points are then laid out on the different patterns such as lighter markings on eyebrows, muzzle, cheeks, legs, vent, legs and undersized of their ears. Number 3. Cream Markings Havanese Cream markings on Havanese dogs often occur on white Havanese varieties. They cover a very small area. This is usually limited to patches on the face, on the tips of the ears, the neck, or the paws. These are predominantly colored coats containing small patches on cream trim, which can sometimes be found on the chest, chin, and feet. Number 4. Silver markings Havanese. Silver markings on a Havanese dogs are often missed even by professionals. They are often confused for white markings due to their bright and shining appearance. These are predominantly color coats containing small patches on silver trim often found on their chest, chin and feet. Number 5. Party belt on Havanese. The party belt on markings variations of Havanese dogs is sometimes difficult to pick out. It is characterized by the presence of spots of hair with different colors within patches of a specific color. Due to the long nature of the Havanese dog's coat, the spots become isolated strands of the different color patches within the tuft of white fur. Number 6. Silver Points Havanese these are predominantly colored coats containing small patches on silver trim, often found on their chest, chin and feet. Silver and white Havanese dogs have a very interesting distribution of colors on their coat. The majority of the coat is a silver gray color. Number 7. Party color Havanese. Party color Havanese doggies are often confused for wounds with the white markings. The difference between the white is in the extent of the coat covers by white fur. With party color Havanese dogs, the white fur covers less than 50% of the coat. Different markings can be found and highly recognizable once Havanese dogs started to thrive and age. Any of those markings are visible after a few years. Number 8. Short Head Havanese Short Head Havanese dogs are the rarest of the two coat types based on the coat length. The fur is short and close to the skin on most parts of the dog's body. However, their many still belong with theirs on the ears and tail. The general responsible for coating for short heads in Havanese dogs is the recessive one. Number 9. Long Head Havanese Havanese dogs typically have a long, soft and slightly wavy coat. The coat may look densely flat, but the fur is actually very lightweight. The long fur on a Havanese dog grows pretty much uniformly, which is why they often need to get grooms, especially around the face and paws. Thanks for the watching our video, please like, share and comment.